Hello everyone! Welcome and welcome back to my channel! My name is Jessel Velarde and if you are new here, I'm uploading videos about my experiences in life, my job, song covers, reviews, and tutorials. If you are interested in one of those categories, please don't forget to click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you will get notified if I will be uploading another videos like this in the future. In today's video, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ko ginawa ang aking Tada! Overlay sa AC using Minicam. So if you're interested on in how I did that, please keep on watching. So, simulan na natin guys, pupunta tayo sa ating screen. Hi! <laughs> Nandito na tayo sa screen ko and I'm going to show you my overlay. This one. So, yeah. I'm going to show you the exact screenshot of my class while waiting for the student. So, this one. Okay, so that is how it looks like. By the way, if you are not yet a Manicam user and you are interested in how to do this, you can actually check on my video uh, tutorial about how to use Manicam. You can just click the link down below in the description box. Let's begin! Alright, so this is how it looks like classroom so while waiting for the student we can do this for me this is very helpful because as we all know sa AC natin now sometimes magka crush I don't know sa inyo but sa akin if I enter the classroom like seconds before the class nagka crush talaga ang AC so it will cause me to be late we are required to enter the classroom like three minutes two to three minutes before the class but of course sometimes kailangan natin mag CR muna kailangan natin mag break uminom ng tubig or whatever na gusto natin gawin because we only have 5 minute break and sometimes sumusubra pa yung last class natin so this is quite helpful for me because we can actually enter the classroom ahead of time so that our student cannot see us. As you can see here, I said, welcome to my class. We will start our lesson on time. So, if the student is a kid, of course, maybe they will not understand that or sometimes the parents will not understand that. So, you can also leave a chat in the classroom that we will start the class on time. So, pwede mong gawin muna ang gusto mong gawin. So, mute mo lang yung microphone mo and you will do this one. Your student will be waiting for you because they know that it's not yet time. Pag time na ho, kailangan natin hindi malate sa time. And then, yeah, start na natin kung paano to gawin. Linawin ko lang, ang purpose ko nito is uh, for my student to see me and to welcome him or her and to avoid being late in the classroom. I've learned this from my co-captain, which is my captain before. He has a lot of tricks, so now I'm sharing this to you. Maybe this can help you as well. Okay, so let's start. To do that, let's go to the categories and then get more. Okay, so nandito na tayo ngayon sa Manicam. Okay, so let's go to effects. And then create effects. You can drag your file here, but provided na edit mo na yung picture na gusto mong ilagay dito, teachers. If you want to have any idea how to do this, I edited this one in Canva. I also have a tutorial on how to edit photos in Canva. So please check that in the description below. Let's go and drop the file here. You can browse or you can drag your file here okay so here it is so you can move that uh, here we have categories we have object full screen effect tayo guys so ayan lang medyo na stretch siya kasi hindi ko talaga masyadong alam kung ano ba talaga ang size nito so itansya nyo lang guys sa canva uh, you can resize the photo actually you can just adjust guys ganito lang siya and then full screen effects 
Oh, wala ka ng ibang anuhin pa. Wala ka ng ibang galawin aside from dito sa cover. So, sa akin, dalawa yun. Yung isa, cover. Yung isa, chasil. So, hindi ko na lang to i-save. Uh, save ko na lang para magpakita ko sa inyo. So, ayan, let's say cover 2. Cover 2 because I already have cover. And then, what you're going to do is please do not click publish because if you will publish on that, mapupunta yan dito lahat sa mga features and magkikita yan lang lahat ng tao. If you want to publish that, then you can do that. But if you don't want to, just download it directly. So, if you're going to download that, dito makikita nyo siya. Ayan. Punta tayo sa hmm, Manicam ulit. So, yes. Hello again. So, here, we are going to... Oh, we will not get more now. This time, uh, this one. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm using the cracked version of Manicam. Um, that's why pwede natin kunin yung uh, logo ni Manicam. So, if you are interested on that, again, it's in my video. Sinabi ko doon kung paano to gawin. Yeah. Now, let's click Add dito. And then, as you can see, nandito na ang cover 2. Click lang natin yan. And then, nandito na siya sa borders. Ay, nandito pala siya sa borders. Tika muna. Ay, dapat overlays tayo. Hindi borders. So, ulitin natin siya. Ayan. Sorry. <laughs> Add muna natin siya. And then, yeah, cover 2 is here. And then, dito na siya sa overlays. Okay. So, tatlo na sila. If I'm going to click the cover 2, ito yung mangyayari. Ayan. Na-stretch siya. Medyo na-stretch siya. So, hindi siya mas maganda. Ang ginamit ko itong cover. Para, parang mataas ako tingnan. <laughs> so, Yun lang, as simple as that. So, you can actually create your own, like this, your own overlays for your camera while waiting for the student or a welcome photo for your student. Okay? So, I hope you... I hope na intindihan yun lang tong mga sinasabi ko dito, guys. Basta, yun lang. Uh, ang pagawa nito is you need to edit your photo first. So, to edit that, again, you can edit that anywhere. In my case, I'm using Canva for that. So, pakita ko sa inyo. Dito ako gumagawa ng aking mga thumbnails. Ayan, marami ako mga ginagawa dito. So, nandito yun. Ayan. So, very easy lang din to dito, guys. I-check nyo lang yung video ko, previous video ko about how I edit my YouTube thumbnail in Canva. So, you can go and check on that. And, yeah, you're just going to download that. Download. So, that's it. So, yun lang yun, guys. It's very quick and very simple. Doon lang tayo medyo mag-take time sa paggawa or pag-edit ng photo. But, overall, dito sa paggawa ng ating overlay, it's very easy. And, I hope na gets nyo yun. Medyo, I don't know if it is complicated for you, but please just be sure to follow that step by step. If you find this video helpful for you, please don't forget to hit like, comment, share this video, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Thank you so much and have a good day.